So last night I made this really cheap photographic enlarger using a camera obscura. I wasn't sure if it would work, but I was optimistic. And the great news is it does work. It works really well. And uh, the light leak that I was worried about isn't a problem. So it's not supposed to be really accurate. It's supposed to be really cheap. And it is. It costs 600 yen to make, which is about $6 US or 4 or £5 pounds sterling. And here is a video about my budget darkroom, what I used, and how you can make your own. So today I've set up my darkroom. Um, I've done it as cheaply as possible. So over the bathroom door I have put some black felt, which I bought four large squares. They cost 100 yen each, and I joined them with uh, iron-on tape and I've velcroed it to the door and put some pins in to try and cut down the light. It's starting to get dark outside so it's a good idea to do this in the dark. I've put some paper over the window in the bathroom to stop the light coming through there and obviously I will turn the lights off in here in a bit. I've got some metal hooks for my prints because I don't want to use the pegs that I use for my clothes in case it stains them and I've got some bicycle lights as safe lights. Here is the enlarger that I made yesterday, so I'm going to try that out in a second and I'm just getting set up in the sink. So for the chemicals I'm using um, Fix that I bought in Yodobashi camera. It makes 5 litres and costs 790 yen, so you mix it one part Fix to four parts water, which I've done in the jug using the thermometer that I got from the 100 yen, both of those. Um, the trays were 200 yen each from your Dorbashi camera and the tongs um, I figured I should get them because they were less than 300 yen and they've got different coloured ends. They were in your Dorbashi camera too. I used this vinegar from the Lawson 100s as my stop bath. I'm ready to mix my developer now. I have got some uh, very cheap instant coffee from the 100 yen shop and uh, washing soda, also from the 100 gen shop. Don't use baking soda, it has to be washing soda. The chemical composition is different. And I've got some dedicated mixing vessels. And I bought some vitamin C in a baking shop. It was 273 yen for 25 grams. So the recipe I'm using requires 450 millilitres of water at 20 degrees centigrade. Uh, 6 teaspoons of soda. 12 of instant coffee and 2 teaspoons of vitamin C powder. So I'm going to dissolve those three ingredients separately, mix them well and then put them in the tray and try and make a test print. So here's where I've been exposing my photos today. I, initially I had taped over this LED light with black tape to reduce the light level and it was actually not bright enough, but that's a good thing because uh, too much light is normally the problem. Not enough light, it's easy to fix. So I have made some photos and some photograms. Um, so this is the last one I made. This was, I think, a 30 second exposure. I've been developing for eight minutes in the Caffanol Sea. Um, 30, 45 seconds in the stop and at least five minutes in the fix before it goes into the wash. The wash will last half an hour. This is a print washer that I made. I got a, a box from the 100 gen shop, plastic box, and hot glue done some uh, bottle tops to one side to elevate one edge. And in the unelevated edge, I have drilled a series of holes so the water can travel over the prints without the prints floating out of the tank because there's actually not water coming over the edge here. So these are the prints that I've made today. The first one came out completely blank. Um, despite the fact that at first I was disappointed with this and wondered if there was something wrong with my caffeinol recipe, I realised when I started to get images that this was actually a very good thing because it meant there's no light leak in my darkroom. So uh, I've got a piece of blank photo paper there, but that proves something, so it was worth doing. Then I started to make some test strips. This one was, I think, 10 seconds, 20 seconds, 30 seconds and 40 seconds uh, under the LED. 
This one, I was trying to get a really strong black. The Caffanol wasn't working so well for that. Even the, the blackest blacks I've managed to get are quite charcoal-y grey. But that's okay. That's just one of the features of the developer, I think. So this is 20, 40, 60, 80 and 100 seconds. And then I made this image, which I exposed for, I think, about... 25 seconds, 25 or 30 seconds. Initially, I developed the white paper and the first test strip for four minutes in the Caffeinol C, and then I was starting to realize that the blacks weren't really inky, so I doubled the development time to eight minutes. Uh, but after that, I'm not sure if they're going to get much blacker. These top two were developed for eight minutes each. Um, yeah, it's fairly black, but not really. It's okay though, it's fine. So I'm happy enough with it. The photogram that I just made is probably as dark as it's going to get. And that isn't really, really black. I think this is just a feature of the developer. Um, the coffee stains the white emulsion even on the blank photograph the white emulsion is slightly creamy colored but that's fine as well so i'm going to put this in the wash and i'll dry my photos off but yeah it works and i'm really pleased with it